Hi, Xavier fans. Colin Waters here with the weekly Musketeer Report, covering highlights, recaps, and interviews of all things Xavier Athletics. This last week was a busy week for the Musketeers, the volleyball team, both soccer teams, and even the cross-country team getting involved in areas and athletics inside of the Cincinnati area. First up was the volleyball team hosting the Xavier Invitational, and they went 1-2, and two, beating Tennessee Tech and losing to Ole Miss and Marquette. It was a hard-fought game against that Ole Miss, Miss team. Records were set, but the Musketeers did not come out on top before falling to Marquette in three straight sets on Saturday afternoon. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this weekend. The women's volleyball team will be in action when they travel to Delaware this weekend. They'll play Columbia and Texas A&M on Friday and host school Delaware on Saturday. Across the river last night, the women's soccer team picked up their second victory of the week, beating Northern Kentucky 1-0 in overtime. On Sunday in Indianapolis, the Musketeers beat IUPUI 3-0 before the game was called due to the heavy rain. The Musketeers are back at 500 and return home this weekend to face Indiana and Moorhead State. Let's listen to head coach Woody Sherwood after last night's victory. I found that final goal was just at midfield was a battle between three or four kids. Both teams, we came out with it, fortunately. And I think uh, Taylor Dearball and Blizzard Twayze has got a piece of it and poked it into Margaret. And we just put Margaret on to try and get in behind. She's got a lot of pace, and fortunately for us, she just beat the keeper to the ball. Woody Sherwood's team back at 500 at 3-3 three and three on the season. They host Indiana on Friday night at the XU Soccer Complex and host Moorhead State on Sunday at 4 p.m. after the men's game. Speaking of the men's soccer team, they picked up two victories last week, beating Wright State 2-1 to one on Tuesday before downing Cincinnati 2-1 to one on Sunday in torrential rain. The Musketeers beat the Bearcats for the first time since 2004. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from last week. Bloomington's team in action on Sunday against Milwaukee at home. They actually play IUPUI tonight at 7 p.m. The Musketeers are looking to go 3-0-1 tonight against the Jaguars. Senior forward Luke Spencer picked up some honors this week as he was named the College Soccer News National Team of the Week and also named the Atlantic 10 Player of the Week. It's the third time in his career that he's earned the honor and the first time outright. He scored two goals against Wright State for the second time in as many years, making it his third career two-goal game. Also being honored with some awards was Will Walker, who picked up the College Sports Madness A-10 Player of the Week. As we mentioned in the top of the show, the cross-country team got started off last week, taking part of the Mount St. Joe Invitational. Both the men and the women placed first. Well, my first strategy was to not go out too fast. I didn't want to take my mile out too hard. So I tried to stay back with the group the first mile. Um, the second mile, I tried to pick it up a little bit. And um, the third mile, I just tried to give it my all, see what I had left. And I think it went pretty well for my first race. And I'm excited for my second one, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we um, our kind of strategy was to stay as a pack, work together throughout the whole race. We did that really well. Um, it was awesome running as a team pretty much the whole way, and um, we really fed off each other well. Um, this whole week we've been uh, doing workouts together really the whole year, and it uh, showed today. I think we just worked really well together, and we kind of stayed as a pack through the whole race, which was, which was awesome. Xavier will participate this week in the Queen City Invitational. They've won the last two years in the traveling trophy between Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. One of the big differences this year for the cross country and track and field teams is the addition of new head coach Ryan Orner. Orner joins the staff this year after spending a brief time at Cincinnati, and before that he was at John Hopkins on the East Coast. What you don't know about Coach Orner is that he used to work as a police officer, but that's not what he's here to do. 
He's here to turn around the cross country and track and field teams. Yeah, I see it um, basically as a program that has been well established over the last couple of years and definitely is a, a talented group of student athletes. Um, I think the team has a lot of potential and you know my goal is to really build on that potential. In case you didn't know Xavier fans, there's always been one person on the volleyball team that has really stood out in her four years now. And that person is Stephanie Vorheer. Now a senior on the volleyball team, Stephanie has won three straight a10 Libero of the Year awards and has also earned national recognition as an All-American. This past week, she had 46 digs against Ole Miss, breaking her own school record. Yesterday against Miami of Ohio, she had 20 digs. 66 in two matches isn't all that bad. To top it all off, Stephanie is now the all-time leader in digs at Xavier with 1,700 and 35. We had a chance to catch up with Stephanie before practice today to talk about her milestone. Throughout the Ole Miss game I had no idea like how many digs or what I had so it was quite a surprise afterwards when I heard that I had broken my record from two years ago. Grateful for all my family, friends, coaches and teammates. I mean this award really reflects them and what they've done for me throughout my entire life and even Xavier community you guys have all supported not only me but my team and Xavier fans. Everyone is really contributed to this award and I'm really grateful that I was able to accomplish this so thanks to everyone that's helped me through it. All right you can find the rest of Stephanie's interview posted tomorrow on gozavier.com or you can look for links from our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages. And finally fans on a more serious note as we end this episode of the Musketeer Report this Saturday is the 11th annual Down Syndrome Association of Greater Cincinnati's Buddy Walk. Several teams will take part but for one team in particular, this cause means so much more. Last year, men's soccer head coach Andy Fleming's daughter was born with the disease, and since then, he and his family have really been champions for the cause. Uh, quite a weekend, and uh, I think above all, it allows the guys to gain some perspective and really look at some of these disadvantaged uh, kids and handicapped kids. And uh, as far as my daughter, Devin, you know, slam dunk, uh, I never thought I'd be so happy about, uh, you know, her situation but, and but what she brings to our life. But All right, Xavier fans, that does it for this week's Musketeer Report here on GoXavier.com. Make sure to check our website, Facebook, and Twitter page for your scores, stats, and all updates regarding Xavier Athletics. Until next time, I'm Colin Waters, Go X.